So a little follow up on my x-ray video. I just had an MRI done today. Uh, I got a CD with the files on it, so I did an MRI of my uh, left arm. When you get the CD, it looks very similar to the x-ray CD with the same folders and files. And uh, if you go through, you'll see that instead of having one x-ray, they'll have a, or one image per folder, they'll have a list, and that's, that's the series of images for each shot of MRI. Uh, last time I showed you XMedCom, which works in this case for opening up individual frames. Um, if I go into where that folder is and I go in and I can select a file and it will open up that file and I can do the same things I did last time, change the color and stuff. Um, but if you actually want to look at it like an MRI, we have this program, Scooplap Viewer however you say it. Uh, and if we do uh, open uh, decom dir, we can go to the folder, the main folder from that CD, and click on the decom dir file, and you'll see that it brings up my information, and time and date stamp. And when you click on it, it brings up a range of the images that they took. And if I scroll over it with the mouse, you can see that I can scroll through each image or you can use a little scroll bar on the side here if you don't have a center scroll on your mouse. Also what's real neat about this, I can zoom in and go through each frame like that. I can go back this way. If I click on this 3D cursor here, you'll see that in all the views uh, other than the one I'm in, you'll see a little green uh, X cursor and that's showing where that shot is relative to where I am in this first shot. So I can go through and I can point at a particular spot and, and you can see that it updates all the other shots, which is just real neat. And, and you can zoom in on any of these and scroll through them if you wanted. And uh, it's just a neat application for viewing stuff like this. Not that any of this makes any sense to me. Um, <laughs> now, uh, for those of you who are more advanced users and uh, want to get into this part, I have a the first program I showed you, this one here is called XMedCom. It's the graphic user interface for MedCon. This is uh, MedCom is a command line interface uh, for converting uh, these uh, uh, medical uh, images to other formats. So here I'm going to show you how to change a series of, of the medical images into a PNG file, which is similar to a JPEG um, with a few bonus features, but if you type out MedCon and you do a dash F for the input file and all the files, if I show you here, start off I am and then they're numbered 00001 through however many images there are. So I do a little asterisk there to symbolize any file it starts with capital I am and I'm going to convert it to a PNG. Now when I do that it automatically creates PNGs if you look here and it renames them. So we have a series of, of shots that we can go through. And the reason I'm showing you how to convert it this way is now we can go in and we can use convert, which is part of the image magic uh, package, and we can convert it to an animated GIF. So we use the convert command. Delay is the delay in milliseconds between frames. Loop is the number of times it loops, and if you set it to zero, it just loops forever. We're going to use every PNG in this folder, and I'm just going to name it MRI GIF. So we do that, wait a few seconds, and you'll see that we've added, we now have a GIF file here. Now a lot of viewers, if you open it up, you're not going to see all the different shots. But most uh, web browsers, so if I open this up with Ice Weasel or Firefox or uh, pretty much any web browser, you can see you have an animated shot. So you can put that on a website, uh, which I'll do for you guys so you can go and see it. And uh, it's just a neat little way to get a animated shot that is in a um, format that's commonly used on the internet, which is a GIF format. So uh, that's it for this little tutorial video, and uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, post comments.